Well, a new day, the same old project, and today I'm going to start, or trying, at least, to fix this cracked uh, panel. Not before introducing my friend, the grasshopper here. <laughs> Look at this guy. <laughs> okay. Like some of the people, you know, commented on my channel and suggesting for a fix or a way to fix the cracks in the fabric of the glass. A good idea is to seal that with this kind of uh, acrylic paint. Well, this is transparent. You see, the funny part of this panel is that I can't feel any dips, you know, I can't feel any, any lost or loosed uh, pieces of glass, nothing. So everything is smooth and uh, of course I'm pretty sure it's gonna lose some power because of diffraction, you know, and because all these uh, reflections in the, in the glass fabric, but we'll try with the acrylic paint. Rule number one, very well and very deep cleaning. It's water-based and that will take all the dust away. Maybe I should take this plastic thingies away from from the panel, of course. So be really careful and don't push the glass from behind because then we'll have a kind of bubble here and the glass, you know, will start running from a, a kind of stable position. You know, we are losing the glass. So don't push it behind. Keep it on a really plate surface as plate as possible. And I will also use some isopropylic alcohol to clean the panel against the, you know, any kind of fats from the anterior washing solution. It really needs to be clean. That's for making the, the varnish, you know, this uh, lacquer to really adhere to the surface. Like I said before, it's still okay in place. Let's see what we can do now. Well, it smells like nail polish. That's a good sign. Let's just dry for a couple of minutes and then we'll take a second attempt. All right. Ah, I did a mess there. Oh man. Yeah, so uh, the panel, it's, uh, I think it's uh, dry now. Yeah, it's done, but it's still a lot of dust, you know, that in fact, it's not dust. This is the acrylic stuff, you know. So just let me clean a little and I think we are ready for the next phase. Well, uh, I think it's looking pretty okay. It's smooth. I don't feel any kind of damages, but I need to work with this really careful because, like I said before, the glass is very sensible now. And we have to cover this gap too. Here I have all the woody parts to build another stand for this panel. I'm not doing anything complicated. It's a very simple structure, like the panels I showed you before. It's kind of like this. And that's it. Screws. It's really hot today. And because of the rain last night, it's a lot of humidity in the air. Okay, I have to get up there on the roof and to see about the angle. Okay, so that's the right angle for, for today. Of course, I will, I will change this seasonally there we are um, I'm gonna tie the panel with this copper uh, wire I you know I'm using the old Eskimos technology you know they are never using screws or any other kind of fixed let's say joint to build there are sledges that will let the the structure 
how can I say, uh, flexible in the wind and makes a huge difference. You know, it's crazy hot. It's impossible hot. Okay. So, the panel is looking pretty strong. I hope it will be good enough. Yeah, it's looking good. Uh, all I have to do now is to try to get up there, to get this up there and to plant it on the roof and to do the connections. Mm -hmm. looking good now I have to do the connection and to start uh, having the panel you know having production let's call it well all my friends are <laughs> upside down look there a really summer rain love it of course the weather is not here with me, but at least it was a kind of, uh, okay, let, let me call it a mini storm. And uh, that proves that the stands are in perfect shape there. You know, they are strong enough. The panels, they didn't move a millimeter. All right, so I got the connection finally. And these are going into my MPPT and uh, uh, but first you see let me check about some voltages of course you see it's cloudy outside so I don't have too much uh, hope for currents but at least I can check the voltages all right four meter and here is the panel and we have like 26 volts coming from the new panel installed today 26.2 all right well Nothing else to do but to hook this on the, my MPPT charger. So I got a plus here. <laughs> and we already have like half of amp charging current. So that means the panel is working. Nothing to do for today. Just wait for sunshine and good weather. And then I can have a clear idea about the the panel and the uh, currents and so on if it's still working if it's useful anyway i'm really glad i uh, hope it will work further and i think that's it for today if you find this useful please don't hesitate to subscribe push like button is very important too i'm waiting your comments and like always be creative and have fun bye bye